This one has been a little bit tricky. It's showing the Panthers minus two. On my site right now, I have Panthers minus one, but this opened at Panthers plus four and a half. Um, Sixty mm. percent of the money is on the Browns, and I know this one's a little tricky because we've got what's his name going back to his old team. Baker Mayfield is going back to the Browns, and blah blah blah, and all kinds yeah. of stuff like that is mm -hmm. happening in Week One. But for the purposes of this video, we'll call it a two and a half. Uh, what are sure. your thoughts on this one, Nick Parsons? What do you yeah. like in here? What's up, everybody? Don't forget about our new sponsor, Caesars Sportsbook. They're giving you up to twelve hundred fifty bucks in a risk-free first bet and a thousand Caesars reward points and a thousand Caesars tier credits. This is big time value for all new accounts. All you got to do is download the app onto your phone and use the promo code MORNINGFUL or check out the description of the video and click on the link. Really interesting matchup. As you Lots. pointed out, Baker Mayfield is up against his former team, the Browns, mm -hmm. uh, right out of the gate. And I mean, Mayfield's already been stirring the pot. He says he's going to mess up his former team, and that's putting it politely. Uh, oh, well, maybe Baker, he will. Calm maybe... down. Calm down, Baker. Jesus. Exactly. Well, I mean, it's like a WWE thing here almost at this point. But yeah, <laughs> maybe he will beat his former team. Maybe he won't. Yeah, Carolina is now the slight favorite here, two and a half points. And then we have Cleveland. Obviously, it has a lot to work through this season as well. One question I wanted to poise that I don't think many, a lot of people have thought about, just a hypothetical question. What about for the Cleveland Browns that when Deshaun Watson comes back, what about if the Browns are two and eight or one and nine? So what do they do in a situation like that, Ellie? Do they bring, I mean, they'd be, they'd be out of it at that point. They would not be able to make the playoffs. So you bring back uh, Watson, I mean, he hasn't played in almost two years. It's almost like he got to play him. But at the same time, he received such a huge amount of guaranteed money that they would be risking that where he, in a failed season, what would be the point that he might not even play the following year? And really, the better strategy would be to tank at that point. And so, yeah, this is some really interesting stuff. I mean, it doesn't have anything to do with this game, but that's something that uh, the Browns would have to hypothetically uh, look at possibly in the future. Uh, but anyways, back to this game. I mean, I don't put a lot of stock into the preseason, especially now that it's gone from uh, four games down to three. Uh, but Carolina went two and one straight up against the spread. Uh, it won 21 to nothing in Buffalo in week three. Cleveland went one and two against the spread and straight up. It lost 21 to 20 in Philadelphia in week two and by an identical score to Chicago in week three. But now we get into this game. The Browns, they come into this game completely healthy. 100% uh, healthy. The only person basically of any uh, note that they're going to be missing is Watson. Uh, Carolina, though, it has plenty of injuries. Both of its backup quarterbacks are out, Darnold and Corral. That means that the fourth stringer, P.J. Walker, is now the backup uh, to, to Mayfield. Uh, Mayfield will likely be without his starting center, his number two wide receiver and tight end. There's other injuries to other players as well. Now, the Browns, they have an easy schedule to begin with. Uh, they play the uh, the Jets, Steelers, and Falcons after this. Uh, Carolina, on the other hand, it does play four of its first five at home, but so that these are really tough matchups it has against the Saints, Cardinals, and 49ers. And, yeah. and you know what? In fact, through weeks one through nine, this is the only time that Carolina is favored. Uh, and Carolina coach Matt Rule, he's just one in six against the spread as a home favorite. And honestly, when I'm looking at Mayfield, I look at Jacoby Brissett. I think that Jacoby Brissett could be the best quarterback on the field to play uh, here today, Ali. And so, you know what? I am going to suggest taking the Browns, taking those points. And that's my play on that one. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, you said that they're, they have, they're only favored once at home, but really like they're not favored in this one, <laughs> you know, like they were, yeah. they are now, but they weren't to begin with. So there's that for you as well. I like this. I think that the Browns as a whole, no Baker better than like can do more against Baker and this team than Baker and the Panthers can do against the Browns. That's, That's just my point. thoughts on this. Yeah. Um, and, th you know, these are his old coaches. These are his yeah. old players that have watched him and observed him, like scrutinized his every single move and play for, a, you know, season after season. So I'm with you. I like the Browns here. I'd love that number to get up to a three or even maybe buy it up to a three if you can. Right. But uh, honestly, I might even look at a money line on this one and just sprinkle a little go. money line action here because I do value. dig the Browns as yeah. the pick. Um. All right, so that's how we're going to roll with this. We're taking the Browns, people. We're taking the Browns. Um, and then your college football picks, just to recap, that was Mississippi State. 
and the Mississippi over. State minus the 10 and a half and the over in the Boise State New Mexico game. That's the way we're going to play this. Nick Parsons, thank you so much for stopping by the Power Hour. Guys, remember, pick up his all football pass, the NFL pass. Um, last week of sales for these things, or just pick up his daily picks every day over at picksandparlays.net and use the promo code NFL to save you 20% off the entire site. Bye guys. See you tomorrow on the Power Hour at 3 p.m. Eastern.